everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I've just got back not long ago from seeing Spider-Man Homecoming at the local cinema with my son and it is Marvel's attempt finally to give us a Spider-Man movie that we deserve. One that has been uh, creatively controlled in collaboration with Sony by Marvel um, to give us a Spider-Man that is um, included in their Marvel Cinematic Universe. And the movie is directed by John Watts and it stars Tom Holland as Spider-Man, Robert Downey Jr. and Michael Keaton as well as others. And I'm still eating popcorn from the cinema. So, what do I think of this movie? In a nutshell, great. <laughs> it's great. It's a really, really good movie. Spider-Man was my main um, superhero when I was growing up. When I was a boy, I used to collect the Spider-Man comics. He was my favourite hero. He was the one I, that I could relate to most, obviously, because he was young. And that was the idea. Um, and cinema-wise, I think it's been a bit hit and miss. I think we can all agree. I think Spider-Man 1 and 2, the Sam Raimi movies, were good. Um, and then I don't think there's been a decent one since then. Spider-Man 3 is, we all know those issues. And The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, I were never keen on either of them. So, to see that um, Marvel was finally going to give us um, a Spider-Man that they were creatively controlling, is got to be exciting for any um, Spider-Man fan, comic book fan, Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe fan, however you want to say it. And what they've given us here is exactly what we want. However, what they have given is, strictly speaking, a, a version of Spider-Man that is likely to upset some really real some Spider-Man fanboys. If you're really, really deeply embedded and you're not, you don't like change in any way, there are aspects of this movie that are going to annoy you, and we'll get onto that later. So, what kind of story do we get here? Well. We're introduced at the beginning to Peter Parker. He's doing like a video diary from his time in Civil War when he was recruited by Tony Stark. And then he is basically let loose in New York and basically said, go and have fun, but take it easy sort of thing by Tony Stark. And he does that. He bides his time at school till school finishes and he goes crime fighting around the city doing pretty menial things really you know giving people directions and taking stolen bikes off people that sort of thing but he yearns some more he's desperate to be a part of the Avengers team and he quickly learns of a group of criminals led by Michael Keaton who are salvaging alien tech from um, the Avengers movies and turning that into weapons and selling them um, and he on his own to try mainly to impress Tony Stark decides to try and take him down and it kind of turns out to be a little bit too much for him to handle and that's basically I'm gonna see here on the story needless to say it's fine there's there's nothing wrong with the story at all I quite enjoyed it they got a perfect blend of the Peter Parker stuff and the spider-man stuff the school stuff as Peter Parker was interesting um, and the Spider-Man stuff was excellent. You could feel how fun it was and how vibrant he was. And Tom Holland was perfect as Spider-Man and Peter Parker. He was just, you could tell he was just loving playing the role. Uh, and that was easily spottable on screen. Um, because he was portraying a Spider-Man who was so young in his career. He was rediscovering, he was discovering his powers and what he can do. Um, so that you could feel the fun and enjoyment on screen both um, creatively and from the actor it was really really well done some of the changes that might uh, bother some purists are um, they make some adjustments to the suit that aren't um, thematically right I suppose you could say I never saw anything like it in the comics um, uh, there was no spider sense they made some adjustments to some of the car characters that didn't bother me but may well bother others um, the the only thing I, I would say that bothered me about this movie and it, it's really only a niggle, niggle is 
as great as the vulture is i thought he's he was a bit too mechanical um, i would have preferred maybe something a bit more organic um but it wasn't bad it just reminded me a little bit of green goblin in the first spider-man and i think that would have been better as a bit organic too but they went more down the realism route and michael keaton was fantastic as the villain in this piece the best marvel villain for a long time but overall you're gonna have a blast with this movie it is right up there with my favorite movies of the year right up there with guardians of the galaxy 2 um a really really fantastic addition to the marvel cinematic universe and i think we're all really waiting for the next outing which i think will probably be in infinity war for spider-man um, and for those of you who are worried of um, iron man or robert downey jr taking over this movie um, he is in it but he doesn't overshadow spider-man it's more a couple of cameos really so overall i would have to say this is a really really good movie a really good family movie um, a really wonderful addition to the marvel cinematic universe and one of the strongest entries for a while um the whole cast is great the direction is good the action's good the end credit scenes are very good especially the final one it's very funny so i highly recommend this movie it is really a fantastic summer movie